Hi, it's Dave from myebook.co.za, and today's presentation is going to help the author who's already published live on Amazon. And a few weeks or months down the line, you're asking yourself the question, well, how much have I made, and when am I getting paid, and how much will I get paid? Now, Amazon has actually got the greatest interface uh, for pulling reports. It pulls directly to Microsoft Excel, so make sure that you have that installed. And it's a lot easier using Amazon than it is using, you know, for example, Smashwords uh, sales reports. So let's hop in straight away. Make sure to begin with that uh, you are on the kdp.amazon.com site. From here, you sign in with the same account that your book was published under. Now, I have permission from the author to use their account as an example. So I'm going to show you live data, what it's going to look like. You enter your email address, your password, and we sign in. Okay, so the first starting point once you've logged in is the bookshelf. Now, the bookshelf is a summary. It's a summary of, of what books you published, how much they cost, what the status is of the book, whether it's live, um, whether it's in review or in draft. So, so this is just a summary of everything this author in particular has published. Okay, this is not what we're looking at though. What, what we're looking for is the reports. As you, can, as you can guess, here's the report tab. So one click away, we select reports, and here we are. We are now on the reports dashboard. In front of you, you're going to see eight different options, sales reports, six weeks royalties, promotions, ad campaigns. There's quite a few options here. Now, to simplify this for you, there's only two options I think that are really important out of this whole list. We're going to ignore a bunch of them and only focus on two. So we're going to focus on the sales dashboard, which is actually th this exact screen you've landed on. Aside from that, we want to know about payments. We want to know how much and, and, and when we're getting paid. So sales dashboard and payments, those are the two tabs we're going to focus on. Some of these tabs actually aren't used for, for a lot of authors because, for example, if we look at the promotion section here, the promotion is only going to be for those authors who are using the KDP Select features of running a discounted uh, ebook sale or you know putting your ebook for free for a certain period. If you haven't opted into the KDP Select program, this promotions option is useless for you. Ad campaigns as well. Recently, Amazon has allowed authors to actually spend money and advertise their book on Amazon, similar to the way you'd create a, a, a Google ad um, through Google AdWords to promote your book or you as the author. Once again, with this author, he hasn't actually created that, so we don't have to look at ad campaigns. The pre-orders over here is just for authors who actually use the pre-order option through Amazon. So when you're publishing your book and it says, well, are you going to publish it live right now? Or do you want to say that the book's only available, for example, in a few months' time? That's called the pre-order. And this author hasn't made use of any of that, so, so pre-orders is something we're going to ignore. So the month-to-date sales, exactly what it says. It'll sum up on the screen just how many books you've sold for that given month. Prior month's royalties is, let's say you log in a few months' time and you have the question, well, how's my book been selling? And you haven't really been paying attention. Um, Amazon's default time period to keep track of your, of your figures is 90 days. So after 90 days, this section becomes really useful where you can pull stats uh, going back quite a few years on your book sales. So once again, sales dashboard, that's the homepage we end up on. Payments, we'll look at that just now. So looking at the sales dashboard, we scroll down and the first thing you notice is this beautiful looking graph of, of uh, green and red lines. Now, what does that mean? Firstly, these, these figures are for the given time period that you specify. So for example, this is one month from June, uh, for, sorry, from June to uh, July. So you can change this up to 90 days back. Okay, you can select sales from Amazon.com, from the UK, from Germany, France, Spain, Italy, New Zealand, Japan, India, and you can change those dates, as I mentioned, up to 90 days. Now, the green, not many people will be seeing the green because the green is only for free ebooks. So, those of you who've enrolled your book into KDP Select and used the free option to make your book free for a short period, you'll see spikes in the green. Generally, you're going to be seeing red. So obviously the greens are higher. People love free ebooks. That's why those are high spikes, up to 11 units there, 10 units there. Now the red blips are the paid sales. Those are the ones that are making us money. Very important. 
Now, scrolling a bit further down, we see this blue line. Now, up until a few days back, this blue line was actually part of this graph. The blue line indicates uh, when authors who have enrolled their book into KDP Select have that ebook borrowed from the Kindle Owner's Lending Library. When someone borrows your book, and, and once again, this is only an option if you've enrolled your book into KDP Select. When someone borrows your book, this graph will spike. Now, up until recently, it was a borrow. So, so one borrow meant it would indicate one. But on the first of on the first of July this year, 2015, Amazon has introduced a new rule that says, well, if you enroll your book into KDP Select, people who borrow your books out the Kindle Unlimited or the Kindle Owners Lending Library section, you'll only get paid for the pages they actually read. Now, this is a huge uh, development for for authors who leverage the KDP Select platform. So, when you are loading your book in and and you, you selected, for example, KDP Select uh, before publishing. You would generally have a boost from, from people lending your book out the library, and you'd, you'd receive a certain amount of funds. Now, what Amazon has done is said, well, instead of receiving a flat fee, as soon as someone reads past 10%, we're only going to actually pay you for the amount of pages they read. So, authors, please take note of that development. Now, most importantly, and I'm sure most of you uh, would want to know this, is, is how much money have you made for that time period selected? So, as we saw above, I've selected June to July. These are the author's royalties from the different platforms in the different currencies. This Generate button will spit the report out into Microsoft Excel. Okay, save it. Just make sure you have Microsoft installed and ready. It spits out a very easy to understand report, uh, but often I spend 90% of my time on the screen using, using these graphs, the red lines, the green lines, and the summary of the, of, of the royalties earned. I spend most of my time here. I don't think there's actually much need to dig further into, into the reports until you actually want to know when you're receiving money. So let's select payments. Scrolling down from the payments, we can see when Amazon plans to pay you, how much they plan, they plan to pay you. Tax withholding is just uh, if, if you haven't reduced your taxes by inserting your, your, uh, your, I, uh, your, sorry, your foreign income tax number. So as an author outside America and the UK, uh, we insert our foreign income tax numbers. Authors within those countries won't have that problem. It's a lot simpler for them. And we can see what we should expect to be paid to us at the end of each payment cycle from, from Amazon. So, sales dashboard authors, that's where you end up. This is the most important screen. It shows you visibly how your books are selling. Red lines, important. Green lines, also great to know. To pull more detail, you scroll to the bottom. Just underneath the summary is a Generate Report tab. Pull that report. You can sort it with an Excel, make it easier to understand. But essentially, that gives you line by line how your book is selling in numbers. Then, down the line, if you're curious to see how much money you've made, the Payments tab will give you access to all the payments that Amazon has made or will be making to you as the author. So, that are the two, or those are the two most important options, I think, out the whole list. The other options might apply to some authors, but, but not most of you. Thanks for listening, guys. If you like this, please share it with other friends. Thanks a lot.